Hey guys, what's up? Today we're, we're going to get the uh, Toyota pickup trophy truck. It's engine mounts uh, designed up and cut out on the CNC plasma table here for uh, this little 2JZ pickup that we're working on. So to get started we got to just design with tape measure, some cardboard a little bit, and then we'll get in the engineering PC and then uh, we'll get some designed up and we'll get them cut. We'll get them cut out. So let's get started guys. Alright guys, got a bunch of work done, even though we ran an errand too today. Check it out. Boom! This one's got this engine mount all cut out. It's a little closer to it. It's going to get a top and a bottom to it, or a back I guess. And then he'll design up, he's, well he has the frame side designed up, but he'll get these cut out first and then he'll cut out his frame side ones. So we're looking pretty good here. Awesome. All right, we'll catch you guys in the morning. We just gotta get the other piece tacked together and we'll bolt it on and then we'll cut out the frame side parts. So I'll catch you guys in the morning.
Been doing a bunch of work this morning. Got a bunch of stuff done to the Toyota here. Justin's got the frame plates cut out, some fisheye plates. And then he's got the lower frame side motor mounts ready to be tacked on. So we're gonna go ahead and get the frame plates tacked on there where they're going to go. And then we'll tack on uh, the frame the frame side engine mounts where, where they go. And then we'll set the 2JZ on it. And then uh, we'll be set up to drill our holes where those mounts will go for the bushing to actually sit in. And then we'll be buttoned up for this episode. And uh, tomorrow we'll move on to making a transmission cross member for it. Since we had to take the factory one out here. We're sitting more back. I kept saying mid-engine mount, but the guys, uh, the trophy truck guys and stuff, my friends over in Los Angeles and uh, California were like, hey, mid-engine, or uh, center mount is what they call it. Not mid-engine, center mount. Yeah. So. Mid-engine is supercars. Yeah, that's, you know, be behind you. So, my bad. Whatever. At least I'm not call, call, calling engines motors like everybody does for some reason. Yeah. But anyways... Our, my friends at Team West, they, they, they have a 1UZ in his pickup, and he's actually got his engine back another four inches further than mine. But he's also a uh, first-generation Tacoma and not a Toyota pickup. So he's, he's got a little more extra frame space, more frame depth, you know what I mean? Because the, 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 the engine compartment had more depth for the engine to sit in it. So his sits further back, so his engine mounts look like they're even further forward because of that. So, But all right, guys. Turn the music back on. Let's get back to work.
All right, all buttoned up on the 2JZ pre-runner today. We got the um, 2JZ's engine mounts fully welded together, the uh, engine side ones, and then we got the frame side ones fully welded up, well designed up, cut out, and welded onto the frame. He, uh, Justin put on uh, some frame plates as well on there before he welded the frame side engine mounts on, and then as you guys can see in the B-roll, they're not fully welded, we, he got some big welds on there, and then when we pull the 2JZ back out, we'll fully weld that up, and then we'll be able to um, have that done, and we'll paint that at the same time when we yard the 2JZ back out. But um, once we get those engine mounts um, drilled tomorrow, we can put the polyurethane bushings in, and then from there we can start to design up its low profile transmission cross member. Um, low profile as to the bottom of the frame, you know, as it jumps and stuff and as the suspension compresses we want that to be up as high as possible and there also to be room between it and, and the truck's floor for the uh, three inch exhaust for the turbo exhaust you know what I mean it's got to be big for those turbos um, but he'll probably be, be going single turbo once it's uh, going or once it's running and driving we just we got a long road before that we got a uh, pretty much the next step will be building the whole roll cage and then from there we'll uh mount his intercooler in the front, we'll mount his radiator in the bed in its back half and do a little ducting. There's a lot of work. That'll, that'll be a complete big stage to do that. Be like three five thousand dollar kit about to well not really kit but worth of uh wages um building that roll cage for that truck. It needs it's a full roll cage chassis essentially. So that'll be pretty cool once we, we get to that stage. Hopefully Jacob will let will let us do it. We'll we'll be we're pretty excited to be able to do that. But for now, we'll get the engine and transmission mounted up for him, and then we'll see where Jacob wants to go from there. So, like I was saying, we'll, uh, tomorrow we'll get those polyurethane bu uh, bushings in, we'll move the engine up about an inch, and then we'll start to design up its transmission cross member from there. So, thanks for watching today, guys. Please leave a comment, let us know what you think of, of the 2JZ pre-runner uh, pre project. And um, if you guys like Cougar House Garage, you like what we do, um, Hit us up at cougarhousegarage.com. Hit us up at Facebook forward slash Cougar House Garage. And then we are Cougar House Garage on Instagram, guys. Follow along there with all the projects. Catch you tomorrow.